over 1.3 million people die in road traffic incidences per year. It's the leading cause of death for those aged between 5 and 29 years old. A study by The Who states that the number of injuries and deaths are far higher than they should be, especially with a number of proven measures that should be bringing this number down. An obvious cause of death in this situation is reckless driving. At some point, most of us have known someone who drives like a total maniac. They don't care about speeding limits, texting while driving, or wearing a seatbelt. You'd like to think that if you were ever in that situation, you'd have the courage to tell that maniac driver to slow down and pay attention to the road, especially when they have a passenger in the car with them. What we're going to look at today is a case where the passenger not only ignores reckless driving, but actively encourages it, resulting in a fatal accident that was caught on camera. Nicole Barabasova was driving with her friend Nicole Vorvoski through Orbnis in the Czech Republic. The two were good friends and had been for a long time, but according to Barabasova's family, she'd recently started hanging out with a bad crowd, and her behavior had changed. Earlier that day, they went shopping and then went to McDonald's. During the live stream, they ask if anyone wants to hang out since they're bored and on their way home already. <laughs> During the drive, Vorlovsky started streaming their journey on Facebook Live. The whole video is almost 45 minutes long, but only the first 10 minutes show the girls driving. However, what we can see in those 10 minutes is completely terrifying and frustrating. It's pretty clear from the get-go that they're driving way too fast. Vorlovsky comments that there are prohibitory signs everywhere and that they don't care as the car speeds up. According to reports, Barabasova was driving her Volkswagen at over 70 miles per hour. As the video goes on, we can see that Barabasova is a careless driver, to say the least. She is far more focused on appearing in the video than she is on paying attention to the road, which she barely looks at during the whole video. One of the most horrifying parts is when she hears her cell phone ringing in her purse. Barabasova takes both hands off the wheel and starts rummaging through her purse for her phone, her eyes completely off the road. She then takes a call from her grandmother, still while driving insanely fast and makes faces towards the camera and taking her other hand off the wheel to get a drink. This isn't the first time we've seen someone suffer because they were too focused on their phone or social media while driving. In April 2019, a car crash involving three young women was caught on Snapchat as the driver and her friends all recorded themselves drunk driving on the wrong side of the road. The driver was killed, her two passengers were injured, and the driver of the car they collided with had to go into a medically induced coma. During the live stream, Barabasova laughs at the idea of being pulled over by the cops for her bad driving, both of them bragging about how they're way over the speed limit. <laughs> at this point, they're driving at almost 90 miles per hour. Seconds later, they lose control of the car and they crash. One of the worst parts of the video is the silence that follows after the crash. When they're driving, you can hear the engine, the radio, the two friends laughing and talking. After they crash, it's like someone hit the mute button. Vorlovsky has dropped the phone, but it keeps recording and streaming to Facebook. Over the next 30 minutes, we witness the entire process of the car wreck being discovered by another driver to the moment they're taken away by paramedics. It's worth noting that the people who discovered the car did an amazing job at keeping Vorlovsky calm until emergency services arrived. Hey, hey, okay, okay, okay. Don't go, telephone! Telephone! Vorlovsky regains consciousness before they arrive, and you can tell from her voice that she's scared and in pain. A woman speaks to her and tells her to stay still in case she's broken her neck. 
si neublížíte. Ležte, prosím. Ležte, ležte, sanitka už jede. Barbasova doesn't make any noise or move after the crash. The people that discover the car assume she's dead. During this, no one notices that the whole incident is being broadcasted on Facebook. It looks as though the phone fell into the back seat when the car flipped over and it isn't recovered until towards the end of the video. It must have been so awful to see all this happening, especially for Barabasova's family and friends who had to find out through this video that she died. The phone is finally picked up just 10 minutes before the video ends. A police officer finds the phone and removes it from the car. He takes it to his colleagues who are trying to identify the girls. Barabasova's father arrives at the scene and confirms her identity. The live stream doesn't end until Vorvolsky's father arrives. He takes the phone from the police and turns it off completely, ending the video. Barabasova unfortunately died of her injuries. She was only 22 years old. Her friends and family flooded her Facebook page with prayers and condolences. Vorvoski survived the crash and after it happened, she seemed to have completely disappeared from social media. Even though many people are upset for the girls and how public their accident was, they both received criticism for their behavior during the live stream. As mentioned, this was not the first time something like this has happened and it probably won't be the last. A few different apps have had backlash and been accused of encouraging people to use their phones while driving. In 2017, Snapchat actually won a lawsuit after they were blamed for causing a car collision caused by a woman bragging about driving over 100 miles per hour and recording it using a speed filter on the app. That live stream footage would be enough to scare most people into driving safely and legally. You never know what can go wrong. Those girls probably didn't even think they would end up crashing when they started that live stream, and Barabasova didn't know she was going to die that day. If you take away anything from this video, let it be that social media is not worth your life. That text message can wait. You can get back to the person trying to call you. And if you have friends or family that drive crazy like Nicole Barabasova did, call them out on it. Thank you for watching today's video. Do you think social media plays a part in accidents like these? Should apps be held accountable? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to stay up to date with all of our future videos.